welcome in to the Fantasy and Frames Dynasty Target Series, where we are breaking down the current situation and value for players you should be trying to acquire for your Dynasty Fantasy football teams. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us everywhere on social media for more awesome fantasy football content. Today, let's talk about Chris Olave. Olave is a 22-year-old second-year wide receiver entering the 2023 season. In his rookie year, he went out and produced as one of the best rookie wideouts despite the mediocre quarterback play of Andy Dalton. Olave played in 15 games last season and was able to put up 72 catches on 119 targets for 1,042 yards and four touchdowns, which was good enough to be wide receiver 25 on PPR scoring for the 2022 season. Let's talk about his current situation. The recently signed Derek Carr is a massive upgrade in quarterback play from Andy Dalton and Jameis Winston in 2022. Over the course of his career, Carr has been able to sustain top fantasy wide receivers. For example, in 2022, he had Devontae Adams. In 2021, Hunter Renfro. 2015 and 2016, he had Michael Crabtree. In terms of potential pros and cons, the Saints still have Michael Thomas on the team, but no one really knows what is happening with him in terms of health or his current contract situation. There have been reports that the Saints and him are working towards a contract extension now. If that does happen, you might see more of an even split in target volume for Olave and, and Michael Thomas, which could hurt Olave's upside to a certain degree. Another situation that could impact Olave's production is the legal situation involving Alvin Kamara. If Kamara misses time, his vacated targets could find their way to Olave. The Saints were able to get a first round draft pick out of the Sean Payton trade. But with the other needs on the team, I believe it's unlikely that they take a wide receiver early in this draft, leaving this team with only Chris Olave and the skeleton of Michael Thomas. Now, while those are potential hiccups for Olave heading into this next season, one thing is not in doubt, and that is his talent. Last season, Olave ranked as the 16th best wide receiver in terms of receiving for PFF. He finished as the 8th overall in air yards, meaning he was being targeted deep down the field, even with the targets coming from Andy Dalton. He had a 27.5% hog rate, which is his targets per route run, so that showed that he was consistently able to get open and be the favorite tar target on this team, even though there wasn't much competition for the targets last year. I expect in 2023, Olave to have a similar target share, but much more quality targets coming from Derek Carr instead of Andy Dalton which could lead to a potential top 15 wide receiver finish. In terms of his current dynasty value, Keep Trade Cut and DLF both have him as the wide receiver 8, and in terms of trading value in dynasty, DLF has similar players going around him as Saquon, Garrett Wilson, Travis Kelsey, and an early first round pick, all of which I would rather have Chris Olave. That wraps up our dynasty target profile on Chris Olave. For more in-depth Dynasty analysis, remember to check out our content here at Fantasy and Frames website, on our YouTube channel, and everywhere else on social media. If you like what you heard, give us a like, a share, and a follow. I'm Austin Montgomery, and you can find me on Twitter at ManiacMonty15. Until next time.